Hey guys, this is Saiyan here, and welcome to another Battlefield 4 video. Today we're going to be taking a look at, by far, one of my most favorite guns in the game, the SG-553. We're going to be playing a little Rush gameplay as we do it. Alright guys, now the reason this is my favorite, um, one of my favorite guns by far, is I just really like the carbines. I like the diversity of it, that you can put it on any class whatsoever. The carbines, if you don't know, are the all a kit weapon so you can use it as a sniper a sneaky sniper a uh, an LMG -er, uh assault engineer all that kind of stuff all right guys now big thing about this let's go ahead and get into those stats all right the max damage of this gun is 25 the minimum damage is 15.4 now, these are pretty normal stats for the carbines, and it doesn't have anything that really shoots out and really comes in uh, and gets in your face right at the beginning. But those are both still pretty good stats. Um, you can definitely, with the high rate of fire of this gun, the fire rate is actually 830 rounds per minute. So you can actually drop people very quickly with this gun. It has a very high time to kill. Um, or a very low, I guess is what you would say. You kill them very fast, so I guess it would be a lower time to kill than, uh, than rather high. Higher would be bad. Yes, yeah, so that's a very low time to kill. Very good. The drop-off start of damage starts at 8 meters away, and it ends at 50 meters. All right, guys. The muzzle velocity of this gun is 430 meters per second. Now, when you put a suppressor on this gun, which is what I normally use on this gun, it drops down to 280 meters per second. So that means you are going to have to be leading your targets a little bit more, especially at long range. You're going to really have to lead those targets. But um, for me, I've noticed that even with the suppressor, that I'm able to stay pretty accurate, even up to long range. The magazine size is 30 rounds and one in the chamber, so 31 rounds total. Um, the reload time, and this is another thing that gets really, um, it gets a, a plus, two thumbs up in my book, the reload times on this gun. When you completely run out the clip and you shoot the last bullet in the chamber, you have a 2.65 second reload. Now that is the long reload. Now for reloads, that is a very fast reload, especially for a long reload. The short reload is 2.15, so it's very good. Um, the reloads are both very good. They're very manageable. It's a very good up close and personal weapon. Uh, for me personally, I don't see a reason to use the PDWs. Uh, there are some good PDWs. All right, I, I don't say that I think that there's no reason to use the PDWs. There obviously is, uh, but a lot of them can be out damaged and outclassed by a lot of um, you know carbines, assault rifles. So. The carbine is probably my favorite um, gun bracket in Battlefield 4. Alright, let's go ahead and look at this recoil pattern now. Now, the recoil of this gun has a recoil up of 0.3. It has a recoil left of 0.3. And it has a recoil to the right of 0.5. So, what this means is this gun is going to slightly pull up. And it's going to be more dragged over to the right. So it's going to have a pretty drama dramatic pull to the right. Um, if you have problems with that, it's actually uh, to compensate for um, high right recoil, it's very easy. All you would need to do is do the opposite. So if it's pulling to the right, you would pull to the left. So if you're using a mouse, mouse is very easy. Just pull your mouse down slightly and over to the left for those longer range shots so you can keep on target. But the compensator will help you manage that recoil to the right if you um, if you need it. I like to run it with a suppressor, so that does take off some muzzle velocity. But for me, I like to stay up close and personal with this weapon anyway, so I don't take a lot of long range shots. And the suppressor will help keep you off the map, which is very good. And um, you know who doesn't want to be sneaky? Who doesn't want to be a, a ninja, right? Now. <laughs> the compensator versus the suppressor, like I said, I would always go with the suppressor. Um, the attachments that I use is the angled foregrip. That's going to help you a little bit with the um, the horizontal recoil, so you can focus more just on the... Um, uh, the not the horizontal, it'll help you more with the vertical recoil so you'll be able to focus a little bit more with the horizontal recoil so it'll help you a little bit in that way um, you can use, like I said, if you 
if you don't want to use the suppressor you can use the compensator the compensator will help very much with that side to side recoil um, let's see here uh, I use the angled foregrip like I said you can use the ergo foregrip or the ergo grip if you want to master a little bit more running and gunning gunning on the move other than that I pretty much keep this gun stock after that it's very good it has that high fire rate and the time to kill on this gun is extremely good I've noticed there's many times where I just like think oh no there's no way I'm gonna die but this gun seems to amaze me every time and just destroy people the reason that I have not done a, a a video of this is because I thought that it was just a very good gun and I expected other people to think the same way uh, until I saw look at that kill cam bug that just pisses me off come on dice fix your shit but anyway I digress uh, what was I saying I was talking about yeah 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 okay keep on track saying keep on track so this gun I always thought was very good. Um, I have most of my kills with this. I have over 900 kills with this gun. Uh, a close second is the AK-5C, which I have over 800 kills with. But I really like this gun until I saw a YouTuber actually post about it, and he said that it was just a very bad gun. And I thought I actually was surprised by this quite a bit because I just always assumed that the SG-553 was a known good gun and I, I don't know if there just haven't been a lot of reviews on this gun so a lot of people haven't been checking it out but if you haven't checked it out it's one of the very first carbine unlocks so it's not hard to get and it is an extremely good gun um, the fire rate on this gun can absolutely shred people if you do have a little bit of problem with that recoil uh, another good carbine is the AK-5C that gun shoots absolute laser beams across the map it has a super low recoil um, the fire rate is a little bit slower I do not know I can't remember off the top of my head exactly what the fire rate is um, it's probably around the 700 range um, it's lower than 800 it's between 7 and 800 I believe I'm not quite sure but if you haven't tried this gun definitely give it a try give it a shot um, if you don't like it go ahead and leave in the comment section why you don't like it uh, I don't think that this is the best gun in the game but I think that it's definitely my favorite gun I prefer to use this than any other gun but if you don't like it let me know if you do like it let me know if you haven't ever tried this gun go ahead and let me know in the comment section and let me know if you're gonna be trying it later as I said I recommend using the angled foregrip and the suppressor maybe even throw on the tactical flashlight I think that attachment is pretty cool because especially if you're out in the open it's not really gonna do anything it won't really give your position away though either because the flashlight only turns on when you actually aim down sights so if you're not aiming down sights then the flashlight is gonna be off but when you do get in those close quarter situations like I said I like to get in you can quickly aim down sights and blind your enemies pretty easy pretty sweet now I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys finish out the rest of this playthrough um, I'm not gonna be doing any more commentary I'm sorry about that guys I'm just feeling I'm just feeling lazy today I guess now this is a little bit longer of a round um, so I'm not gonna just ramble over it the whole time like I said guys if you do enjoy this gun let me know in the comment section also if this video review helps you at all don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe for more videos like this one. Be sure to check us out in the next one, and I'll see you there.